You ever wanted to play like 27 mag Theradons? Well, this is the deck for you. Reno Demon Hunter is being touted by many as the next big thing in the uh, wake of the recent nerfs. Uh, Demon Hunter packages with uh, Umpire's Grasp and Window Shopper as a pair seem to be doing a ton of work. Uh, that discount from Umpire's Grasp, rolling into the Window Shopper, playing that 6-5 for only three mana, and then getting a card that also costs only three mana, sometimes a big Magtheridon, and then you get a one mana mini version giving you a one mana Magtheridon, and it's just Magtheridons for days. And when you combine that with some of the utility of a Reno deck like Gunslinger Kurtris, and of course Reno himself, this deck can definitely pack a punch and win games in a variety of ways through aggression, through value, through sneakiness, all of it's possible with this one. And that's why it's doing so well for so many people, including myself. And of course I got some fun games to showcase all the crazy Magtheridon action and more. Let's put the window shopper back. Uh, in theory, you know, it's nice to have multiples, but I'm scared if I draw the other one before the Empire's Grasp that I really break my curve because I have the turn two Grasp into the turn three Shopper. So I'd rather just have them both in deck. That also means I know that my uh, Reno cards are active right on time as well, which is nice for Kurtris, yeah? Uh, <laughs> although Kurtris does not very effectively deal with Fanatum. Uh, you know, it's like, hey, deal, deal 12, I guess, to Fanatum. I mean, that's not bad. Might help me clear it. Could make a big difference. Um, yeah, but we love coin grasp. Just start slamming face. It is nice that we do have, you know, a, a notable bit of pressure in this deck. It's not like crazy, crazy lethality, but enough to keep people on their on their toes. Keep them nervous, basically. Uh, so we'll attack, play shopper. And the hammer's good, more damage, right? That's what we're looking for. This turn three shopper line is just crazy, I think. Uh, basis, it's it's actually gonna cost one if I want it, and it's a six five, which is pretty cool. Magtheridon, I think for three next turn though, is just better. It's just a lot of damage, you know? This guy being three is just so crazy. Magtheridon unreleased. You will not come closer. Okay. This is annoying. Well, no, it's not annoying actually. Magtheridon cleans it up really well. We can probably just go for a window shopper as well already, honestly. Uh, another Magtheridon's chill. Yeah, we'll take two. That's fine. Uh, we <laughs> if we can hit a uh, saloon brewmaster, we'll take a third. You know that's fine too. Thankfully, this can't actually clean this up. So if we did, you know, hit a brewmaster, we would absolutely go for it. For the record, um, Kurtris is active, so could think about a Kurtris here. I don't know what we're expecting to hit necessarily. But I'm playing Symphony pre wheel. Oh, oh. Oh, that's sad. Oh my God, dude, jeez. They got one, two, three, four legendary cards and the best card of the deck, Window Shopper. The only th thing I'm happy to see there is the Rust Rot Viper, I think. It's the only card I'm not mad about. Uh, This Kurtris feels like I want to develop a Magtheridon, kind of, right? But I guess I have time for the Kurtris. We can still clear the 7-4. We're still pushing a little bit of damage. It's it's just like one of the only minions I actually developed. Let's see if we actually delete anything. Doomkin and Loken gone. Loken's actually a huge hit. Doomkin too. I mean, frankly, those are great hits. Holy moly. Yeah, Loken would have been nasty here on six. Okay, I, I'm, that is a fantastic Kurtris result, dude. Oh, this guy's hurt too. Oh, dude, that's funny. This this takes the trade now. Kurtris saved himself, basically. That's amazing. Now this will just die to the Magtheridon, which is great. Uh, do we already start ripping the Metamorphosis? It's honestly a ton of damage again. It really puts them on a tight clock. Because we're dealing eight this turn and we have five next turn. This is crazy. 
This Mac Theradon over the top damage. Like they gotta heal. We they know we have at least six, but we also have Fan the Hammer. We have Bull Hog, depending on like you know what what uh, makes more sense. I mean they, they kind of do the same thing, so they probably make about the same amount of sense. Oh, they healed six. Okay, so this is just lethal. Nice. Cool. Mike Theradon for lethal, buddy. Let's go. Nice. Didn't even get to wheel. That was an insane Kurtris game. Insane Mike Theradon games. Just perfect, really. You can't get better than that. That's amazing. Okay, double window shopper. While great cards, we really want to hit that umpire's grass window shopper. Uh, we don't have the sick coin line, but still pretty good. Oh, this hand, though. Spirit of the team. I mean... I guess we can use it to clear a minion early. Yeah, we have nothing else to do on two. I'll, I'll probably even just play it for face damage, to be honest. I think the upside of surprise factor. I'm going to trade the Rust Rot. Uh, although Rust Rot is good against Warrior, and a hero power never hurts on one for Demon Hunter. We really want to find Umpire's Grasp early, so we're just maximizing basically all of our chances to find Umpire's Grasp, and, and nothing else really matters. Whoop. Cool. Hey, HS Replay, what's up? Uh, well. Kind of looks like a bot name to me a little bit, but I don't know. So does this one, right? I don't know bots would be playing Tendril Warrior, though. Yeah, Salesman Hero Power feels better to me. We may not have a long clock here with Tendril Warrior. Uh, of course, brand Tendril stuff eventually. They just start sunset volleying you a hundred times. And I'll tell you, they never get the other 10 mana spell. It is always sunset volley. <laughs> you, you'll see sunset volley 10 times before you see the other spell. I know how it goes. Uh, where is our good cards? We really need Umpire's Grasp. I would I would just take a window shopper back now. <laughs> Honestly, let's let's go back to our window shopper days. Really, at this stage, anything would be nice. Kurtris would actually be good, but I have two duplicates still, so we can't even really do a Kurtris. Uh, line box, discover demons. I mean. Window shoppers are good. I, I guess it's probably a little better than a sigil runner. Theradon's really good, but really expensive. Maybe an Inquisitor's just better for lethality. Turn eight's getting pretty late, but it's probably still a fine time. I don't think I have to worry about board so much with Mac Theradon. Window shopper, there we go, baby. That's what we wanted to see. I'm actually gonna push face. I think this game needs a clock. I know those tendrils eventually are gonna just completely overwhelm me, so. Let's, I mean, I know warrior heals, right? Of course, like, you know, there's 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 all these things going on, but we just need to find a window, basically. And without that window, I think we're in trouble. So we're just gonna kinda, kinda hail Mary a little more than normal, trying to find some of those windows. So here, I think, um, okay. Yeah, for six, this is a little bit less interesting, but it's still just high pressure. I probably would have taken Mank Theradon if I got it, you know, but... Six damage here, eight damage here... Ten damage here, like, we're, you know... We're putting it together. I will say Metamorphosis and these Inquisitors don't interact very well together, so that's something to keep in mind. It would be nice to create a really high pressure board next turn, by the way, because they want to play Bran. So, for instance, like, Illidari Hero Power next turn is probably pretty good. This is not um, good yeah, um... I could clear both of these minions with this Illidari and leave up the Window Shopper to hit for another six. It's not... 
Not that high pressure though, ultimately. I mean, it does stick six, which is pretty nice. The Inquisitor is a pretty cool threat for later. But I, if I just leave up this, they're just going to trade it anyway, right? So I might as well clear both. Not perfect. And we might also be technically getting them the brand. So, you know, we're almost in a way creating a problem here. But I, mean, I guess this is really kind of worth 12 if you look at it, right? You think it's worth six and six if they want to play brand here. So I guess it still sort of solves the the main goal. And Bran itself is not much of a an immediate threat, you know. So now it's about finding good window shopper lines. Probably Magtheridons. Honestly, Ganarg Glavesmith is pretty cool. I think we just go again on this though. Again, damage being the name of the game, the Ganarg is is pretty nice. Uh, Illitari is a one, doesn't really do much for us. It's actually a three, three, but it still doesn't really do much for us, I don't think. Let's do this. This could actually end up being very disruptive, right? Summoning ward and bait and switch. Wow, okay. Those actually seem kind of nuts. I don't know. Summoning ward, I guess, would be amazing on like an Illidari Inquisitor more than anything, but, uh,. It's not going to make it that far, of course, because it'll it'll be gone if it doesn't activate this turn, which hey, if they clear the board, I guess it won't activate, but otherwise it will. Brawl. Oh, my. Really wish we had gotten. Um, really wish we'd gotten an, a counter spell or something, right? Well, we did win. What did we win with? OK. We get a second three, three. I'll take it. Honestly, that's fine. Bad worse. We've had worse. I can't yet use the Illidari. I guess I can Metamorphosis this turn, though. That's eight. I don't have any lethals, do I? Is it six and nine? Oh my god, if I had one more mana, we'd have lethal, right? I don't have mana to Metamorphosis. Six, nine. I need three damage? Um, oh, this is, this is three. Oh! Oh, they're just dead. Oh, nice, dude. Very cool. Yeah, we we really we really found the line pressuring them into brand well, dude. This was a bit of an atypical path for this game, you know. We didn't hit like crazy early uh, window shoppers. I mean, we didn't hit any good like high-powered cards. We just kind of got there on old-school demon hunter pressure machinations, you know? Okay, let's see what we can find here. Kurtris against Illidan. I mean, I kind of like it. I really do like to mulligan for an umpire's grasp, but maybe we keep a gold panner. It's kind of like getting an extra draw anyway. Potentially sometimes sticks, although not usually, but we got the grasp anyway. All good, cool, nice. So now panner into grasp is fine. Panner, theoretically a little bit of a risk that you um, hit your window shoppers uh, naturally instead of through your grasp but pretty unlikely let's see if the opponent's good and got an umpire's grasp or if they're bad and didn't oh they lost that but that's not good against grasp anyway is it saloon brewmaster is actually pretty nice for our window shopper i like it on the back half of the mini version that's really really good kind of cool on kurtris too sometimes maybe just delete some stuff they got grasp they're good they're they're a skilled gamer Excellent. Now it's going to be about who gets the better results, I guess. We're pushing a bit more damage. They're going to be at 22 already. That's that's actually an interesting difference. Uh, we can red card that just to not have to deal with it for a minute, maybe. It's like, you know, we could we could metamorphose it later. Metamorphose it? That's, that's, I think I dropped a syllable or 12. Do we ever go Illidari Inquisitor here just to be more 
like punchy lethal uh, back there not still you know potential lethals just maybe not as punchy i'm gonna i'm gonna do this especially with the mag theradon like we'll chip through that later you know so next turn's probably mag theradon Sh may not be mag theradon shopper because i i want to i want to bounce the shopper probably hmm they're not playing what they got off the shopper first i don't know if that tells us really much of anything What are the odds, by the way, that this that this that this character, this individual, found a toy in a window that looked exactly like them? Kind of creepy, almost if you think about it, right? It's sort of spooky. Uh, I mean, I definitely want a hero power to send six to phase, even though we're gonna mag there it on anyway. I can probably play the window shopper, but I just want to greed a little bit. We know they have their demons in hand from this. Oh, not this one, I guess. So from this one. Kurtris could just delete it, but I can't give up six damage to face here. There's just no way. In some ways, this feels inefficient because we're floating, but it's just so much damage to face, right? This is too good. You can see how big that red card was, by the way. Th this window shopper is hitting face for six and it's still alive. I wonder if the window shopper rule is like the Savannah High Main rule of old, where you the, the, the rule was if you get to hit face with the Savannah High Main, you just win. <laughs> if you hit face with the window shopper, which is also a six five, maybe you just win. I think that's kind of a cool rule. So metamorphosis for me can just go face. Um, I, they may have a hard time healing too, potentially, because a lot of the healing out of this deck requires uh, minions to hit, like trading into stuff, you know, give your hero lifesteal type stuff. But I have Burning Heart plus uh, Demonic Blast plus Mechtheridon plus Fan the Hammer. <laughs> you know, I can do a lot of work, basically. Uh, putting them on the back foot here might make the difference. I don't know. And without them having a minion to hit, I just wonder how much they can effectively heal. Uh, that's a lot of damage, but it's not its not enough. You're just dead. Yeah, nice. This very much becomes like an aggro game plan almost, huh? Wild. Yeah, the red card honestly was the MVP that just won the game for us, I think. <sighs> okay, none of these are good enough that we don't just hard mulligan for umpire's grasp. It's I just cannot, in my opinion, understate the importance of, of instrument tech or umpire's grasp. It's just, it, it's not only enabling your Reno cards, right? That's part of it. It's just so freaking good. That's the more important part of it. It's unbelievably good. Illidari studies on one. Now nah, let's wait. We want to save that outcast upside, right? So tech on two always. Well, I guess not if we draw Empire's Grasp, but otherwise always. Uh, Warrior... I'm expecting Reno Tendrils because that's all I've seen at this rank. That's like all we're playing. Uh, which I get it. It's fun. Tendrils are cool. They're fun. Scary. Crazy. I can't believe the Tendrils thing wasn't good till now, but I guess the Tendrop spell pool got much, much better, didn't it? Oh. Oh, man. Imagine if that hits a Titan right there. Oh, my God. You just get wrecked if that hits a Titan right there. I just get to summon a full board. I mean, can you? Um, that is so risky, dude. That is like, oh. A one and three there is so risky. What are they thinking about coining something here? Or just, just slow rolling us. I don't know. Maybe they're sick of Demon Hunter. I'll oh, fine. I'll watch the uh, North Carolina Alabama game since uh, my beloved Kentucky Wildcats are not, are not, are not in the tournament. You know, you know, they're not in the tournament anymore. Like always. <laughs> Embarrassment. 
Well, I don't know. Maybe they AFK. Maybe they're slow rolling. Maybe they uh, try to pull up my stream. It's jokes on you. I don't stream hardly ever. <laughs> I mostly just make videos now. Oh, I probably should have hero powered. I don't think we're going to play the, the one drop here. I mean, we can just make just hide my misplay, you know? Sometimes I like to save it for the bounce, but I don't even mind. Let's just play it. It's fun. Double Mac Theradon next turn. I love it. Let's go. Easy game. Now give me the red card. Give me another window shopper. We'll just be playing Mac Theradons all day, man. I'm not even honestly sure that Mac Theradon was the right pick there. It's just once I get the first one, I'm like, no, we're just doing it. I just, just want to play 17 Mac Theradons. That's all it is, okay? All I have an interest in. Don't worry about it. It's very good. I think it's slightly better to save the 1-1, one, one, especially, of course, if you have, like, Saloon Brewmaster. Um, we don't, you know, so it's fine. We'll play it. If we get a Saloon Brewmaster off the top, we're going to play it, though. I'll tell you that. Are they coining uh, an, an answer to this? They are not coining an answer to this. Man. Um... There's like some logic to waiting on these, of course, right? Once we, once we can kind of deal with more board. At the same time, I'm just gonna push. I want damage here, dude. We're, this is like 12 damage, right? So it's a ton of damage. They're gonna be like really worried about their health total this whole time. This also prevents us from like over committing into removal because, you know, we're developing more stats that they can answer. That's, you know over committing into brawl or whatever, you know, the sanitize or whatever. Brand. Okay. I love when they play brand and I've got so much damage on board. We already talked about this in a previous game. Probably. Um, we don't have quite as much like crazy pressure and lethality as we had in that particular instance, but still a lot. Gnarg. I mean, it's more damage. Yeah. I think it's okay. Might be a little all in on the board here. I don't hate it. Almost lost my outcast, boys. I know you saw that. Oh, the red card's a sick card to get because now we can re up the, the, the Magdaridon. That's fantastic. Bonus three unavoidable damage again. Yeah, they're down to nine. We know we're gonna have three and two is five, six. Actually, Burning Heart probably means even more. Nine? When it is currently at nine. Does that mean they're dead? I think it might mean they're dead, guys. Oh, uh, this is potentially even more. Yeah, they're done red card for lethal man let's go yeah this is so good into that brand turn dude the mag theradons just overwhelm this deck they spend so much on brand they're just getting murdered by the six fives and mag theradon pings the entire time all right so umpire's grasp is basically the dream hit in this deck uh you want to hit window shopper for three that makes your next card three uh, off the window shopper. You hit some crazy demon for three. It's a six, five. You play two straight three mana six fives. And you know, you're doing things. You're doing Reno demon or things. You'll note that uh, window shopper and umpire's grasp are the only two ofs in this deck because they are so fundamentally important. Uh, and just the best cards. Which uh, does not surprise me for Umpire's Grasp. I will say, though, I did not anticipate the uh, interaction between the two being so powerful. The discount uh, applying to the Window Shopper Discover is just really, really nice. Super cool synergy. This card, though, just is nuts, right? Like, let's just look at this card. It's insane. It's a great weapon in its own right. Just a 3-2, you know, classic weapon shape. Uh, but then you get to draw and reduce cost. It's insane. Now this is gonna be a like giant rogue, 
Which, at the moment, we don't really have answers to giants. So we might need to find some answers to giants. Gaslight Gatekeeper, uh, great enabler, of course. Here we go, are they gonna get a giant now? No, not quite. I don't know how many cards they drew. I don't know. I honestly, also, don't know how much the giants start at. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I just know they get to zero pretty quick. So it's good to have a 6-5 and play, though, into giants. That's a good start. Uh, Magtheridon, I think, is really one of the better hits. It's just a question of do we have what we need to go with it in order to, like, clear things. Yeah, probably it doesn't matter. Plays have to. I think that's fine. Um, you could actually do double Magtheridon if you get crazy lucky, right? Just start hitting for six. That'd be nuts. <laughs> actually busted, honestly, if we hit that. Um... But a 6-5 and a Magtheridon can definitely help clean up Giants, even if they get, like, breakdanced. Um, so that's fine. Am I playing a video in the background? I am. Well, I'm probably gonna have to mute that. that. <laughs> I was watching the basketball game in the background. I think highlights were playing. You guys may be hearing the NCAA tournament advertisements. I have no idea. I'll probably just mute it. Yeah, there's a Giant. Okay. No breakdance, though. All right. Um, do we just rip a uh, saloon brewmaster? Definitely better on the the small one. I think we can just get away with Magtheridon on trade for now. There is a world where it would be great to go face. I grow impatient. I don't need a hero power, so it's probably just wand maker. Yeah, let's not get too greedy on this. I think we can just outlast, honestly. Because eventually we're going to get to Reno. Right, and Reno's going to deal with any of these boards. Honestly, pretty soon. Argus is not exactly great at answering boards necessarily, but um, can stall out anyway. Like, couple trades, couple taunts, you know. Some Sometimes that works out well. And the Magtheridon, too, just keeping stuff in check for now. So this will be window shopper, brewmaster, window shopper, probably. Imagine me just getting three Magtheridons. <laughs> the amount of like face damage this contributes is kind of part of what's crazy about Magtheridon. It's just so much face damage. So there's another giant. Um, all right. So we actually maybe could use another Magtheridon here. No Magtheridon. Uh, bassist, not good for one. Mysteries is pretty cool, though. Let's start here, though. We can try again for another... Another Magtheridon. No, Amalgam Band is kind of cool. Tough Crowd doesn't really help here. Inquisitor, of course. I mean, these are all kind of bad. I mean, this is probably the best bet, to be honest. Let's see what secrets we get, and that could dictate a little bit of our decision here. Because, like, if we can isolate this into, like, a freezing trap or something. Uh, ice trap and rat trap. Oh, cool. The rat trap's kind of neat. I am actually going to go ahead and bounce this. I know it comes back for free, but um, I just, you know, I didn't get a secret that really deals with it. This encourages the rat trap, so... This is still a really nice development for us, too, on board. So we'll be able to just, like, take straight trades with Argus sometimes. Trade in, trade in, trade in, Argus type stuff. Or not. You know, we also have this. Uh, Chaos Nova, Fell Barrage, and Chaos Strike. I have to remember which one of these is which. It's been a minute. Rat Trap, yeah, that's sick. Ice Trap here, too. That's good news. I mean, this still works for them, but... We're not in a terrible spot, though, with two 8-8s, right? Because the 6-6 six six is great. That just lets us clean up pretty nicely. Um, I mean, well, we just know we can clear here, right? Surely there's a guaranteed clear, especially with... Um, with Fell Barrage. That's the one that deals two and two, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. I think that's what we want, actually. So we can hit here, Go and then hit here, and here, and then just send this into that in face. And then I guess we're just like playing this. I mean, going face a little more. Yeah, I don't know. It's fine. We got a good board. Big damage. 
I'll take it. They're down to 12 with a pretty solid board. Now Reno's active as well, so we're ready for like any any future threat development here. Uh, is Reno active? Yeah, we've drawn both uh, one, both of our two of's. One, at least one of both of our two of's, let's say. Okay, so they're going off on a big turn here, but it can't be 26. I mean, there's just not enough to work with here. We're going to be perfect with the Reno on this. Uh, might actually just have lethal as well. They don't resolve this board. They're already looking at eight. This is plus two is 10, 11. I don't think Argus has any lethal hits though. Ball hog? Can I make that the opponent? No, there's one ones on board. Hey, this is a very good hand. Um, I'm actually just gonna keep this. I mean, maybe we'll get rid of red card. I don't know how, how valuable that is, but the rest of this hand is just insane. Like we're gonna coin Empire's Grasp on two. Uh, Brewmaster for the mini is really good. Just, I'm, I'm in love, dude. This is the perfect hand. Uh, I might kill... Okay, as you say, if they played the right minion, I might even just Taste of Chaos it. Honestly. So, we don't love, um, you know, the, the dudes. But we'll be fine. We'll catch up. We'll counter swing some tempo pretty hard, and then the dudes won't seem that scary. They love a little um... Okay, even less dudes. I think we're even happier here. My mana is too yeah, low. coin grasp into turn three. Window shopper is amazing. Reno also active already, which is nice. Could be very good. I want 47 Magtherodons this game because it's usually really good against all the hunter uh, little dudes. Just give me all the Magtherodons. Uh, I can't really kill that one. Guess I can kill a hound though. Could maybe go face if we really trusted the Magtherod on lines, but for now, let's just kill this dude too. We're happy. So window shopper for three, very, very good. Magtherod on? All day. Perfect for this matchup, I think. So next turn is Magtherod on into, well, normally window shopper, but I don't think we will this time because I want to be able to brewmaster the window shopper. So it's probably my third on into Taste of Chaos, especially if there's anything to hit, which it looks like there will be. Um, we'll just hit this and then go face for six. Use my third on to clear these out. Uh, Jungle Gym might open this up. Oh, it does. Okay, well, Taste of Chaos got worse, so maybe we just hero power here. No, no real need to do this, right? It's fine. So next turn is Shopper Brewmaster Shopper. My third on. A lot. <laughs> That's a lot going on, yeah. Um, Mac Theron is just such a nightmare for this deck, though, right? What do you even do? I mean, I guess you can just try to go face. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. You concede. No, I wanted to play it out. I'm sad. 